Hey everybody, it's Justin from Bittner Built, and my friends over at Xtool just sent me out the yet-to-be-released F1 Ultra. This is the world's first combination diode and fiber laser. It's a Galvo, which means it's incredibly fast. And being that you have both of these in one machine, no modules or anything, it's one full machine, you're going to be able to process most materials just with this one machine, not multiple machines. So that is pretty cool. They did reach out to me and say, Justin, if you want to give a little sneak peek, a little teaser, you can do it. Um, so that's what this video is today. We're going to unbox it. I'm not going to run the machine, but we're going to talk about Xtool's thought process in how they got here. And we're going to look at some of the capabilities of the machine. My full review will be out very soon around the time of the official announcement. Uh, at that point, I will have had it for a whole month to be able to put it through its paces and make a ton of projects with it. So I'll be able to give you a good, honest review on that. But in the meantime, let's open it up and see what we got inside today on Bitterville. In order to understand why Xtool has put out the F1 Ultra, you should look at the progression of its machines. So we start off with the F1. This is a tiny powerhouse. Everything is made to be small and portable. I can pick this up with them. my pinky. Um, it's great. And so if you're somebody who goes out to craft shows and street fairs and all sorts of stuff, you're able to personalize your merchandise on site in front of the customer super quick because this is equipped with a Galvo laser. So you're engraving incredibly fast, which means that you can get to more customers in your time that you're there. Uh, it has a 10 watt diode laser as well as a two watt infrared laser. And then it has a really neat capability where the floor comes out and you can actually hold this up to a wall or a really large object that you could never put inside of a typical laser engraver and put a marking on it. So that is really cool. The benefit of having it really small is also a negative in some cases, which is, you know, you can't fit really large projects in here. And that's where Xtool came to the S1. It is a much larger footprint capable of dealing with much larger material, especially if you use the conveyor feeder in the front, uh, you'll be able to process super long pieces of material. They also upped the diode laser capability. The F1 had 10 watts. This has 10, 20, and 40 watt modules that are all swappable, and then they also introduced the two watt infrared module as well, so that we're able to process the materials that the diodes cannot. Now, they definitely made a huge swing in size. Uh, this is on the verge of not being portable. Uh, I was huffing and puffing bringing this over just across the shop. So imagine taking this to like a show where you have to get to a booth that you're at. So uh, maybe they need to tone it back just a little bit on the size so it's more portable but can still process very large material. And then we need to up the power of the infrared module and take it to a fiber. And that brings us to the F1 Ultra. This fiber laser and diode combo, I need to make sure that I'm always thinking about it that way, uh, has the largest bed of any fiber laser of this category. And it comes in at 220 millimeters by 220 millimeters. Uh, that's about 8.6 inches in each direction. Uh, also, look at how skinny this is. It really doesn't go back that much. Almost all of the area of its footprint is for engraving. That's incredible because when you look at most fiber lasers, it's usually a large box with a metal post on it and then the laser is up on top of that. So uh, this super compact form factor is very impressive. And that doesn't even include the conveyor belt. When you add this on, it increases the width of your production area to almost an infinite degree. The ability to just keep putting down material on here and batch processing item after item after item looks amazing. I didn't receive one of these yet, but I really, really hope that I'm going to for my full review on this unit. On the back panel, we have a nice ventilated rear, followed by the exhaust port for your smoke exhaust fan. When we look at the bottom ports, first we have the hose port for if you buy the optional fire suppression kit, power adapter, your lock, which is a USB that you can take out if you do not want anyone to access this machine when you're away. We have the data port for the fire suppression kit, a data port for your air purification system. For this unit, you would use the same model that is used for the S1 or the P2 not the smaller air purification kit that is used with the original F1. Then we have a port for your optional foot pedal, 
and then your large port that hooks up your touchscreen access panel for this machine. On the side, we have a metal emergency stop button, a USB-C port for connection over to your computer, two accessory ports, then a very interesting USB port for a thumb drive. Seeing as this unit has a touch screen available to it, you can actually store files on a thumb drive and then select them from the touch screen in order to print them. And then we have a metallic textured power button that is depressible for the entire unit. I'm very interested in what this color touch screen is going to be. So let's go ahead and turn this on for the first time. Ooh. There's a nice light up X tool logo right there. Very cool. This screen is really high quality glass. It is very snappy and responsive. It moves very quick between the menus. Uh, obviously you can choose your files from the flash drive and that wouldn't be possible unless you had a screen like this. We have a green activation button which will start your engraving process, a marking button which will show you your project using those red lasers. And of course we can control the height of the laser by this button. You know, it's hilarious. It looks like we could fit our F1 inside the new F1 Ultra to engrave upon the top if we felt like it. That's pretty big. Our air purification hose is included and we are, let's just use calipers here just to get it right. We are at 80 millimeters or 3.15 inches for the diameter of the hookup. I take safety incredibly seriously. I committed on the channel earlier this year that I'm not doing any more reviews of any laser engravers that are not fully enclosed. Uh, I just believe there's too much opportunity for um, danger to happen. So, uh, you know, just during this filming, my sons have come through this door three times. I have a door hanger on the door saying, don't come out here, but they come out here anyway. They're teenagers. They seem to not see things like that. If I was using my laser out here, out in the open, when they come through that door, they're not wearing goggles. They would possibly be damaging their vision, and I definitely don't want that. So I'm very happy that the F1 Ultra comes with its own enclosure. When it's in the down position, you and everybody around you are safe. You do not have to wear safety goggles, but this machine can run in the open position, uh, unlike the P2 or the S1, which uh, will auto shut off if you try to open it. Uh, that's because of that conveyor accessory and the fact that it is a smaller bed, you might need things to hang out of it. If it's in the open position, you need to wear safety goggles, of course, with this. Now, also speaking about safety, this is the uh, fire safety kit for my S1. And I asked them, hey, will this one work with the Ultra? And they said, yes. So if you already own the uh, safety kit for the S1, you have fire suppression capabilities with these CO2 cartridges. If the machine detects any fire, it will release the CO2 gas putting out that fire. Uh, obviously though, you can only hook up one at a time. It only has one port on here, but it's good to know that they're interchangeable if you already own one of these. Having two lasers inside the same machine without switching modules is fantastic. When we're looking up inside the machine, we see a large laser lens, a camera system, and then a two laser dot focusing system. I was also sent out these optional accessories. This is the foot pedal and the button switch. These are useful on both the F1 and the F1 Ultra. If you are waiting to start a job and you double click on this, it will start the job. You can pause your job as well as restart it again with these buttons. Both of them work. They uh, plug into the back of the unit in the foot pedal jack. Uh, they are both of aluminum construction, so they definitely seem very durable as far as an accessory goes. It has the F -tool, or X tool accessory port as well as a USB C port on the cable. The Ultra comes with the raised slatted panel that you can place on the inside of the bed in case you're looking to do any cutting. It also comes with a material positioner that you are able to screw down onto your bed here. And what that does is it makes uh, placing your material really fast and easy if you're going to be doing a repeatable process. The thing that I also forgot to mention when I was looking at the underside of this machine was that there is a really cool light bar. This machine will go to sleep. So as you can see right now, there's nothing on the screen, but when I touch the screen, it came back on and you might've noticed a light right here turned on. There's a very bright light bar up at the top of the machine, which I'm sure is very important for the camera system. The Ultra has 3D curve engraving, and 
This was brought out on the S1 where you had up to 15 degrees of curved engraving, but on the Ultra you now have up to 45 degrees, so you can really put some rounded objects in here. If you own the RA2 Pro Rotary, you can use it with this machine. And then since it's a fiber laser, we are able to do deep engravings, embossing, and even cut certain thicknesses of metal sheets. And then we can engrave in color as well on metal. I have done this before with different machines and it is very difficult to be honest. Uh, so I'm very interested to see how Xtool will implement this in the software. I have high hopes that they're gonna make, uh, you know, the color engraving process pretty easy to select your colors and automatically set the settings on the machine. The camera system will automatically recognize shapes and intelligently fill patterns on every piece as it progresses through the conveyor. I am super interested in this because I always do uh, lots of batch work, but you know, I like doing my business cards out of wood. And so it's a intensive process a lot of the time for me to put down like 30 of these at a time uh, after I cut them out to engrave them. And so I'm very interested to see if this camera system will produce as the videos show and be able to just intelligently see this hexagon and turn it into my business card. I wanna thank Xtool for letting me spill the beans a little bit early on this machine. I know I couldn't tell you a lot, but it's a teaser video. You're not supposed to get everything. Put your questions and comments down below. I wanna know what you want me to test, what you wanna see, what questions you have on this machine, and I will do my best to address all of that in my full review video that will be coming out later this month. Uh, I also have a link down below in the description. If you're interested in this machine, now is the time to get it because there are a lot of cool offers that Xtool is giving you. So in that link, it'll take you to a pre-purchase page where you can put down a hundred dollar fully refundable deposit on this machine and what that's also going to get you is a thousand dollars off the retail price as well as some tiered items that you could receive for free like accessories and discount coupons and all sorts of stuff based on how many people sign up so check out that link down below for that i also wanted to give some personal experience on this to end the video I owned a 50 watt MOPA fiber laser. It was more expensive than this machine. And so when I got this machine and I started thinking about it, it's really easy to just, you know, on face value compare, oh, this fiber and this fiber. Well, there's so much that is included in this machine and it should not be discounted. Xtool really came out with a fully packaged product. So when you think about your typical fiber laser that's in this classification, you know, it's that black box base that has, you know, your engraving area, a pole, and the laser. You know what it doesn't have? It doesn't have a diode laser. It doesn't have a conveyor belt feeder that goes through there for batch processing. It doesn't have a camera for positioning or AI for that batch process. It doesn't have a colored touch screen on here, which was definitely not on my bingo card when I thought of what was going to come with this machine when it arrived. It was twice the footprint of this machine, twice the weight, but yet had a smaller workplace bed than this machine. It didn't have an enclosure for my safety and the safety of others. It did not have a fire suppression system. It did not have its own software. I've always loved that Xtool has its own software, but you don't have to use it. You can use others if you want to, but the fact that you come out with your own software means that you will provide your customers with a full experience that takes advantage of all the capabilities of your machines and try to guarantee them the best user experience possible. So I love all those things. There's a lot here. And so definitely factor those items in when you're comparing this to other uh, you know, products that are out there on the market when you're thinking about if this product's for you or not. I hope you'll hit that subscribe button so that you know when my next video comes out. That's what really helps my channel grow. And as always, stay safe in the shop. I'll see you in the next one.